There are so many books out there discussing the differences between man and woman. Today I want to share some of these aspects with you, but I don't want to share aspects that are discussed by social justice warriors, I don't want to discuss social conditioning or some results of raising children differently. I want to refer to actual genetic, hormonal and brain differences. Let's jump right into it. What's going on powerful people? My name is Benjamin and I welcome you to another video on my channel Personal Power where we discuss everything related to personal development and sometimes just some random knowledge that might help you out. If you'd like to dive a little deeper and learn more about women or even relationships then check out Relationship Revelations. The link is in the video description. So the first major difference between men and women is the ability to read faces. On average men have a 40% accuracy whereas women are way higher with 90% accuracy. Why is it this way? And this doesn't just start in puberty or when we learn about it. No, this is something that starts very early on. Baby girls soon develop a distinctive need for eye contact. To put it in actual numbers, baby girls eye contact to their mothers or to other people increases by 400% very early on. Boys on the other hand remain with a whopping 0%. We are simply more interested in other things. On this scope we could say that men are a little bit autistic. Because one of the major determining factors for an autistic person is that they don't see any value in facial expressions. It doesn't matter whether you show them a doorknob or a face, it probably has an equal value. And at least early on we men are kinda similar to autistic people, as we don't seem to get a lot of value out of faces. We just do what we want to and we try to get our input from our surrounding world, not just from eye contact and reading facial expressions. This is directly interlinked with the second point. Women focus on one-on-one -on -one relationships and men focus on group hierarchy. And with this focus on one-on-one -on -one relationships comes also a hell of a lot better social skills for women. You've probably seen it on my channel. I produce videos on the topic of alpha males, beta males, sigma males and anything in between. But women don't care about this stuff. They don't give a damn. They just want a healthy and happy relationship. Whether the relationship is from an alpha to a beta, from a beta to an omega, they don't care. They just want it to be happy and healthy. I also mentioned that they have better social skills and they are willing to use them. Let's take the following example. We have a huge stone that is laying in our way. What are we men doing? Well, it's simple. We are physically stronger than women, so what do we do? We use our advantage of being strong and we move the stone. Women, on the other hand, lack the physical strength. Therefore, what are they doing? They engage social contact. They ask for help. They flirt with other men. And eventually, the other men will move the stone for them. A lot of people are offended by this approach. They will be like, oh, she didn't move it herself. That's bullshit. She's cheating. It's not fair. And even go that far of saying that slutty behavior. But to be honest, you shouldn't judge women for it. It's simply using the benefits that they have. They utilize their benefits. We utilize our benefits. There's nothing wrong with it. Especially not because it comes with a lot of downsides. For example, social stress and losing friends seems to be a lot harder for women. And by a lot harder, I mean actually catastrophic. They simply care so much more about social interaction than we do. Another great example that I noticed when I was younger is that girls always go to the bathroom in groups. Why is it this way? Well, when I was younger, me and my friends always thought they were doing some nasty stuff in there, maybe comparing tits or something along the lines. But in reality, they just wanted to talk in peace. Girls go to the bathroom because it's quiet there. They can talk openly without being disturbed. If you still can't grasp the importance of social interaction for women, then maybe the following example helps. Sex for men is like communication for women. Just think about it. How often do you think about sex? Well, that's how often women think about communication. And that's how much they value it. And sex brings us directly to the last point, to the conclusion of the previous points, which is the brain, hormones and genetics are simply different. Some brain areas are more dominant in women and some brain areas are more dominant in men. But most importantly, yet frequently forgotten, are the hormonal differences. 
Men develop in a pretty simple way. In puberty, they get a spike in testosterone and that's about it. Once they hit a certain age, this high testosterone slowly decreases over time again. And nothing more, that's it, just a spike in testosterone. Women on the other hand, experience a constant cycle of hormones. Every day can be entirely different and that's not only during their period, in fact it's every single day. Hormones vary a lot more for women than for men and life is perceived entirely different each and every day. To summarize it, high testosterone in men means we think about sex a lot and we are less social, we talk less and we worry less about it. Women on the other hand have to deal with oxytocin, which is the reward hormone for social bonding. If they interact and improve relationships, then they will feel happier, healthier and better. In the end, there are advantages to being a woman. For example, you can simply read faces better and you don't have to worry about social hierarchy. But luckily, I'm a man and I'm extremely satisfied with it. I don't want to experience constant mood shifts, to be honest. And I'm still thinking that we men want a lottery ticket. So be happy with what you have. Once again, if you want to learn more about women, relationships and sex, then be sure to check out Relationship Revelations. The link is in the video description. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then be sure to like it. Did you ever experience these drastic differences between men and women? Let me know in the comments below. If you're not subscribed just yet, now is the time. There are two more videos for you on the screen. I wish you a wonderful day and I will see you in the very next video.